guys I had to literally pull over and come into the park area because I wanted to I wanted to just film this video um, I have had the craziest most amazing set of synchronicities the last two three days and I'm telling you guys like <clears throat> when you are <laughs> I'm gonna sound crazy but like when you are on your spiritual path and when you were awakening or reawakening or you're having your second awakening or third awakening or a hundred awakening I mean we have multiple ones um you truly truly <laughs> experience it um so a little bit about what's what I'm experiencing so I started um I, okay so I have a Facebook group right it's called talk tarot with me on Facebook and it's a group of just basically tarot readers and we all talk about tarot we talk about spirituality we talk about our lives um we do advice people ask for advice people ask um you know we just talk cards it's just a simple group and i started a book club on the first of august and we are reading women who run wild with the wolves this book has changed my life. I have been reading it. I'm only in chapter, I start chapter four tomorrow. Um, it has really started this huge shift in me to want to address shadow work. And shadow work is, is basically a process of healing where you are basically healing parts of yourself, your psyche, the past, traumas, experiences that you don't want to talk about memories that you don't want to remember that is all shadow work and so i am starting my process and there's if there's two things that i need to work on it is um my relationship with my family and there's also my relationship with myself in eating emotional eating and why what triggers what triggers my emotional eating and all of that kind of stuff so sorry i feel like the camera thing is all it's not as blurry <laughs> the sun is setting the sun is setting so I'm trying to get this done fast um but basically so since I've been starting this book um it's really just inspiring me to tap into pieces of myself and to learn more about why I am the way that I am and what what causes it and it's a healing process right so when I get into this zone I start to notice that I feel a call for um you know addressing things about myself and with that comes reading what kind of a tarot reader would I be if I didn't reach out to another tarot reader or another psychic or whoever to read for me right I read for myself all the time don't get me wrong but the this need this hunger that was in me to have a reading done on myself was so strong I knew it wasn't gonna be myself doing it it wouldn't suffice so what I ended up doing was I put a call for for people to reach out to me to read for me um, and you know I would purchase a reading or whatnot so I had a couple people reach out to me on Instagram and I basically asked my guides to give me a sign as to you know who should I choose and um, and I have a very small and very small very generous list of people who I trust people who have read for me in the past people who I trust as readers um, because I do, you know, it's I give out very sensitive information about myself, my life. And I don't, you know, I, I don't just do that for anybody. So a few people reached out and this morning I had an, another person reach out and there was something about her. I just knew this is the one. <laughs> this is the one she was a new person I never had her read for me before um, and so she ended up saying instead of me purchasing from her let's do a trade so we did a trade and I did the love reading for her as you saw earlier the one I posted today and she did a reading for me I was completely blown away by the reading that she did for me you guys it was spot on I'm not gonna go into detail because it is a little personal but um, it was so spot on like everything that she was saying everything that she pulled it was a video reading thank God so I have I have it so that I can like go back to it which I'm plan on doing so I can take notes um, but she basically addressed all of the things that are that I'm like tapping into right now that I want to deal with for my shadow work. And the cards were specific, like specific to basically saying who the people are involved. I mean, it was that specific. She did an energy reading on me because originally that's what I wanted. I didn't just want a tarot reading. I wanted 
someone to channel my energy. I wanted to get like a, a spiritual check-in, a checkup. Like like you like how you go to a doctor for a checkup. I wanted that, but a spiritual energetic one. And I do those for my clients if you get us an energy reading with me. That's what it is. But I can't do that. I mean, I can, I guess I could do it on myself, but it's no fun. I want someone else to do that for me. I want the experience that my clients have when they get readings from me. I want that experience for myself. So basically, um, I, <laughs> I got the energy reading and it was, it was everything. I, I seriously just like, all I want to do is go home and journal about it. <laughs> um, and then later on in the day, I had someone else reach out to me and she had asked, you know, if she could do an energy reading and she channels, she, she's a medium. And so I was like, you know what? I want, I want to do this. So I actually paid her and she gave me a channeled energy reading and she blew me away as well. I mean, she was bringing up some other stuff, other stuff that, that the other reader didn't bring up. She was bringing up some other stuff and a specific number came up and it was just like, it was just crazy, right? And she was all talking about like, you know, my guides and how they want me to reach out to them and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And so I went today to Barnes and Noble. Literally, I just got back from there. Like I have my bag. I even have frozen yogurt. I want, I want to eat my yogurt before it melts. But anyways, um, I came back from Barnes and Noble because I have been wanting to read another one of Gabrielle Bernstein's books. So I bought two of them and they were on sale. And the number that they came out to was the number that this girl told me. Is that synchronicity or what? So that is a sign from my guides that I did the right thing. <laughs> so the first book that I got is Judgment Detox by Gabrielle Bernstein. So if you guys are looking for a spiritual read, um, I hear this one's really good. This is actually her newest book. So I'm really excited to read this one. This book, this the other book, I have already read half of it. But this was like years ago when I went, when I did that leap of faith where I went um, from full time to part time. That was from this book. This is called May Cause Miracles. It's also by Gabrielle Bernstein, May Cause Miracles. So when I read that book, um, the, it's, like a, it's like a workbook. So you're working, you're reading it, and then you're doing the exercises, and it's a workbook. And it's basically to inspire you to make huge changes and leaps of faith. You're basically facing your fears. And at the time that I was reading that, I was working full time at the library. And I took a leap of faith because I was feeling the call, and I went part time. I remember it was the hugest decision I ever made and I never went back since. Um, the only time I went back full time was when I took on that second job and we all know how that went. <laughs> so ever since then, ever since I took that leap of faith inspired by that book, I um, haven't gone back to a full time job. I have been working part time. I've also been doing like full blown everything with TCM, um, TCM or the cackling moon, just in case you don't know what TCM means. The cackling moon doesn't provide me as much money as I need to feel comfortable to go full blown cackling moon. Um, so until then, it's like half and half. Um, and I'm okay with that because working at the library gives me a social life and I love that. I think even if I, even if I had the ability to be a stay at home mom, if I'm ever a mom, but be stay at home, um, work out of the house, I probably would still want a part-time library job like the one I have because I love it too much. It's just fun for me and I love to socialize and, you know, have a social life. So anyways, TCM is TCM. It's growing. It's being what it is. I feel like I have a little block right now, like I said, because I got to do some shadow work, but I also got to get my house and that is the missing piece to the puzzle. So I feel really revved up right now. I feel really good. I had to like literally pull into the park. I'm in like a park parking lot right now because <laughs> I was like, I need to talk about this. This is so crazy. And when I got the total and it was like the same number that my guides were giving me through the mediumship reading, reading I got earlier, I was just like synchronicity. This is fucking synchronicity. This is that stuff that I always talk about with you guys. So the sun is pretty much setting. I don't want to be here when it gets dark because it's kind of creepy with people. <laughs> um, but thank you guys. I just wanted to get on here real fast and say all of that and share with me your your um, your experiences with synchronicity. And do you guys like to read Gabrielle Bernstein? Do you guys like her books? Do you like her? How do you feel about her as a person? I had to unfollow her at one time because... Um, 
I was just not vibing with her messages, but then for some reason she's coming back. So I feel like because her initial book inspired me to make such a huge leap of faith by going part time, I feel like there's another shift happening. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm feeling the call to get back into Gabrielle's word. Let's see what happens. Is there going to be another major shift? And I, I do feel there is going to be a major shift with my life, me and my husband. Um, because we're literally like in the end part of his background. So it's like, we'll get word if he is going to go and if, if he is going to be law enforcement or he isn't. So we can find out literally like within the next month or two months, we should find out about that. And then that is going to set the tone for what path we take, because right now we're just waiting to hear about that. And if he gets it, then we're going to be waiting. I have to wait while he goes away for some time to go through the academy um, and wait. But we'll also be getting paid. He's going to get paid the income of a law enforcement officer while he's in their academy. So we're just going to be saving so much more money towards our house. Now, if he doesn't get it, then we're going to start house hunting. And we've already talked about it. We're going to start house hunting in December. And hopefully we'll find something and we'll be moving into a home within the next few months or so. I mean, I'm really hoping that everything will go out as it's planned. Now, the other plan, this is like part three of our path, is if we start house hunting and we find out we don't have enough, we can't afford the houses yet because we don't want to move to a bad area simply because we want to be able to afford the house. Like, I want to live somewhere decent, right? I want to get a house that I want. I don't want to settle. So he, we've already decided, we've agreed that um, if we can't afford, we're still going to move out. We're going to go back to renting. We're going to save all of the money in our savings that we've had saved so far. And we'll start house hunting when the market drops. Because I feel like the, the housing market, it's a seller's market right now. I feel like it's going to turn into a buyer's market and everything is going to be super affordable. So there's so much like I feel like I'm on the brink of so much change and I hope this is the last of the change because I'm so ready for I just want to be happy and simple and live my life and be happy so I just feel like there's so much change about to happen and I'm really I'm feeling the call for that and, <laughs> and the synchronicity is telling me that so I guess I have to just be more patient, wait and see what happens. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I like to be somewhat transparent without being 100% like full blown, like this is my life. Um, but I like to be transparent with you guys to so you know, so you know, I'm, I'm a typical human being. I'm not some magical psychic goddess, even though I wouldn't mind being called a goddess. But, <laughs> um, you know, I am normal. I'm normal. I have issues. I go through my own stuff. So I just wanted to tap in, talk with you guys and connect, leave some comments, tell me how you're doing. Let's chit chat and I will talk to you guys later. Bye my loves. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs>